Welcome back to JMC Live this month of May. We're talking about how to engage your culture, how to reach the people that are around you. And you know what? The sad thing is, this is not a very popular topic on how to reach souls for Christ and how to actually interact with the people around you. And a lot of people want to quote, you know, we live in this world, we're not supposed to be of this world, so we're supposed to be separated, and it says not to eat with sinners, and not to do this, but Jesus was accused of being a drug, a, a, you know, a drunk, he was accused of dining with the sinners, he was accused of, you know, going against the mainstream, and understanding where people were. He went to where people were at, and he, he accepted people the way they were, and move beyond the circumstances of people's lives. So I told you before the break, we're going to talk about how music can influence a whole nation and a whole group of people. Um, I'm going to use the Word of God real quick here. We're going to go to Romans chapter 1 verses 15, 16, and 17. This is Romans 1, 15, 16, and 17. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew and to the Greek. For therein it is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And as the Word of God just clearly states, that we have to get to this point where we're not ashamed of the gospel. There, there's currently right now in uh, here in Ohio, there's a station called Radio U. You can look it up, RadioU.com, and they play rap, rock, metal, pop, techno. And if you would listen to it, and most of the, and, and you know, majority of the bands that I've verified, I can't say everybody yet, so don't worry about that. I, I am still looking through them all. But most of them are connected to Christian record labels. And they're played on secular stations like the 80s, 90s, and today stations. Bands like Daughtry, bands like Day of Fire, Owl City, Need to Breathe. You know, these are some bands that are wanting to reach people and try and direct people to these different places and different things. And um, we're just going to have to move forward in these places that God wants to help mold you and direct you. So, for instance, you, you find a song that you like and, you know, you find out who, who the record company is. You find out who they are and, and the directions of what they're trying to do and what they're about. And that's a great topic start. I mean, it's something that you can be relevant with people. You can relate to people. You can talk to them about these different things. And to, and to engage culture is we need to remove our minds and our own eyes and preconditioned thought of music. Because unfortunately, there's just so many people right now in society... Um, and they want to manipulate and control people through music. And it's just not right. You're supposed to be able to have fun with music and be able to have something to talk about. There's a band called Apologetics. And they make fun of, they make parody songs of, you know, up and coming, you know, society songs. You would think you'd recognize the music, but you don't. And it just gets you to this point where God wants to transform society. So... How would music be a relevant thing in your own personal life to change somebody? I've had someone ask me this question. That's why we started off with music. And I answered this question with music is and has always been what formed a society. The music described where people were. It described places and things. Normally music tells a story, whether it's a classical piece or if it's a contemporary piece, a hard piece. It describes how a person is. It may not necessarily be the person who wrote the song, but it talks about other people. There was a time in the past when certain music chords were considered satanic. I couldn't play some minor keys or seventh keys because they were considered satanic. This is a 60s, 70s movement. So, this stuff is going on and over and over and over again. You see it in churches. Why? I ask you guys today, 
Why is it such a problem? If you got a 12, 13, 14 year old singing something, and you know what the problem is? It's because you just don't like the music. I understand not liking music. There's music that I don't like listening to, you know. I can listen to anything Christian because I've learned to mold and transform and renew my mind. And that's what the God's Word says. It's to learn to transform yourself from the inside out and, and lead you to a place that you need to be and guide you to a place where you can understand and fathom the things that are going on. I'm going to read another Bible verse to you guys here real quick. Let's see. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians. And I'll make certain I'm looking at the right verses here on my notes. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And this is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 through 23. Chapter 9, verses 19 through 23. It says, For though I be free from all men, yet I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. Unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without the law, as without the law, without being without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak I became weak, that I might gain the weak. I became all things to all men, so that by some means some might be saved. That's verse 22. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 9, 22. It doesn't matter which Bible verse you read that. It says, I become all things to all men so that some may become saved. Now, how do you have to do that? You have to learn how to engage your culture. Jesus Christ did not come and die on the cross for you to sit on your couch and do nothing. Jesus Christ didn't come today to sit here and, you know, fold his arms and say, yeah, I died for you. You're going to be saved. That's all there is to it. No, there's more to life than this. Christ died and came on this earth so that you may have life and have life more abundantly. Life everlasting. And music is part of that experience. Like I said, I, you, I challenge you today. I don't care what type of music you like. I dare you. I dare any of you to come to me at any time. Give me a, you know, a little time to research it. If I'm not familiar with it, I will find a band that you will like, that you may sound very familiar to what you like, and guess what? It's probably a Christian band. And if it's not a Christian band, at least they're not singing some of the stuff that's out there. Because you can say it with your ears, and that, that's the thing we're talking about here. We have to learn how to transform yourself and renew yourself to another place. We're going to take another break. We're going to return, and I'm going to give you some more tips on what to do with music, how it's influenced society, and where we are today. We'll return. To all my people in the struggle, you think God's forgotten about you. Here's some pain medicine. Let's go!